Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quest for Creative. In yesterday's episode, we started digging into one of the mods, specifically Witchery. Yay! And we had set up this little system here. We found out that my uh, transport pipes don't work. I still have no idea why. They're not broken. Like, I'm not missing a connection or something because I can see everything in the system. But it's like not actually sending the request, so I have no idea what's actually broke there. Um, we already had, I already had the witch's oven, so that doesn't, we didn't do that. We have a distillery, which apparently that's what that mark right there was for, is because I didn't have uh, the, the, the magic points or whatever they are. Um, I did, just as a little test, put around a lot more bone meal just in this general area, and uh, I got a little bit more magic points. Um, 1700 as opposed to 1600 not a lot i bet you like i said i bet you i'd get more if i had like trees and i bet you it's even more if it's like uh the witchery trees um we also planted these spanish moss and i was mildly curious if they grew uh like how they grew and all that and apparently they do grow significantly faster than the regular vines because i popped these vines um and I think this one grew one block, and that's it. The other two didn't, and that one didn't. But uh, these guys, I've harvest I harvested the entire way up to the tree, and now they've grown that much in the same amount of time. So, yeah, they do grow significantly faster. However, I'm not going to harvest them because I already have over a stack of them. No idea if they're really useful or what, but, yeah, so that's really all I need. Um so let's see, the next thing we made, let's see, we built an altar, so we already did that. The next thing on list is build a distillery. Well, oops, no, that one, there we go. We have a distillery, and the one after that is make some gypsum. And to make gypsum, let's see, gypsum, gypsum, we need foul fume, quicklime, and clay jar. Well, I have clay jar in my distillery. Uh, foul fume is made by cooking oak wood, um, boop, and I have prepared some already. Oh, I also have charcoal, too. Awesome. I can actually refill these things <laughs> at the same time. That's actually pretty sweet. All right, so now we have a bit of foul fume, foul fumes, um, and then I need quick lime, which is just wood ash in a crafting table. Okay, well, that was easy. Um, so all I need to do is take these foul fumes, quick lime, and put them in the distillery. And wait, because this is taking forever. Is this draining my altar any? I don't know how this works. I don't know what these magic points are for. Uh, but that was down, that was 1700, and then it went back up to 1704. Um, so, yeah, I have absolutely no idea how this actually works. Does it do it once for every time we make a thing? What all do I get? I also get, uh, what is that? I'm looking at it on the wiki still, just to see. I get, um, there we go. Slime balls, oil of vitriol, vitriol, that's actually pretty cool, and gypsum, and we need gypsum because that's how we make the ritual chalk. Ooh, I also need tear of the goddess. Oh, that means I still need to use the distillery, uh, breath of the goddess, and some lapis. Um, I'm going to need more clay jars, aren't I? Whoop, no, there. Eh, I still have a bit. Still have enough. Uh, let's see. Breath of the Goddess. I need some lapis. I got plenty of lapis over here. Actually, got plenty more lapis over there, but the machine doesn't work for some unknown reason. And basically, I sit on my butt and wait for these things to do their thing. Um, well then, I am going to make this Tear of the Goddess. And, uh... Well, uh, uh, I forget what it's called. The transition fade cut thingy that I do. Cue it. All right, I'm sick of waiting. Um, I've got my tier of goddess that I need. Um, yeah, so I didn't get uh, that many. I got 14 gypsum, but...
but that will be enough. Um, I also grabbed my spare wood ash that I had in a chest over there because apparently I'm going to use it at some point here, so may as well grab that. Uh, what else do I need for this ritual chalk? Uh, that's it. All right, so I will put that there, gypsum there, and then some of this wood ash. And that gives me our, our ritual chalk. And that got me six of it. That got me a little bit more than I expected. Um, oh, it does say two on the wiki. Okay, I thought it was just one. But, eh, whatever. Uh, however, I do need ritual chalk uh, to make golden chalk, which I have. Um, yeah, I need four dandelion yellow and a redstone. And that gives me the golden chalk. Now, this one's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, I need to read Witchcraft Circle Magic. Now, that's a book. Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, hang on. That's collecting fumes, distilling, circle magic. This thing. Belladonna flower. Belladonna flower. Ooh, sleep, sleep, sleep. Uh, Belladonna. Oh, I'm jumping on the bed again. That's not a glitch in, uh, in like, Tinker's Construct or anything. No, Carpenter's Blocks. That's not a glitch with Carpenter's Blocks. I see that in uh, vanilla block or vanilla beds that I have up in the house. Uh, belladonna. I should have belladonnas in here somewhere. Barley, tomato, snowball, belladonna. Alrighty, so belladonna seeds. Do I have to farm them? Do I have a hoe? I do not have a hoe. I don't give a hoe. Um... Iron hoe will do me. Uh, I'm going to need more iron than that. Just a couple and a bit of sticks. Wee! And we have ourselves a hoe. Alright. Um, I have wood ash. I don't have bone meal because I'm just going to do this a quick way. I'm going to bone meal it up. Uh, bone. That'll do me. This, of course, is assuming that I have to hoe the ground to plant these things. Which, if I had to guess, I would guess that I do. And I appear to. So let's clear out a nice little area here. Um, ooh, I know what I should do. Do I have any spare? About to find out. It's nether brick, mud brick... Um, oh, but I don't keep them in there. I keep them in here. Yes, fertilized dirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Screw the hoe. I'm just using fertilized dirt. That's why I don't have a hoe is because I don't need one. I kind of just use fertilized dirt for everything. Because I don't have to, like, water it, keep it uh, hydrated. It just kind of works. Oh, wow, that grew fast. Why did that grow fast? Are you done growing? Nope, you just gave me the seeds. So apparently something was weird there. Uh, let's see. Bones. Get me some bone meal. And we'll see if this works. It should work. Okay, now are you grown? Now you're grown. And that got me our belladonna flowers. All right, what was I doing? Oh, yes, I was making a book. Oh, crap, but I need a book. That's actually going to be a problem, because I don't have books, do I? Do I even have any leather? I do. Sweet. Three paper. So that gives me my book. We got a belladonna flower. I need an ink sack, a feather, and a whiff of magic. Yes, I am looking this up right here. Or I just have this page up. That way I don't have to keep looking up. Let's see. That's brown. Black. Then we go over to our nice friendly unifier that I keep in the house. Because apparently I wasn't thinking when I put it down. And that gives us an ink sack. Yes, I cheat. <laughs> but it's not really a problem, is it? I mean, it's a good thing. 
that I'm cheating. I mean, that's kind of the point. Um, what else do I need? A feather. Well, feathers I have tons of, even though they don't replenish themselves anymore. But I've got feathers. And then we go make this book of circles. And then apparently that teaches me how to make circles. Okay. Um, wait, am I missing something? Oh, yeah, I'm missing the Whiff of Magic. Oh, but I have the Whiff of Magic. Here. Oh, I should probably get these out of there just so I don't waste them all. Hey, there we go. All right, let's put you away. Tear of the Goddess, because I have what I need from you. Foul Fumes. Whiff of Magic. I just need one of them, so let's just leave that alone for a little while. Uh, Breath of the Goddess. Wow, I got a lot of these uh, bottles, these witchery bottles. Hmm. All right, Whiff of Magic, Ink Sack, Feather, Belladonna Flower, and a book that gives me the Circle Magic. The Circle Jerk book. All right, draw circles using colored chalk. Colored chalk? With a heart glyph at the center, an altar is often needed for power. Drop the foci items into the circle. Activate the heart glyph. Uh, chalk in size is 7x7, 11x11, 15x15. Ritual other wear? Infernal. What? What? Oh, ritual is 7x7. Other wear must be 11x11. 11 15x15 11. 15 15 must be infernal. So that must be the three different levels of chalk. Um... Right of binding pulls up. I have no. Oh, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. Right of binding is what I can do. I get it. Basically, uh, I don't have a clue. I, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I have no fracking clue what I'm doing. All I do know is that I need to take this golden chalk. And somewhere around here, right there works. Put down the um, this is the uh, this uh, um, this is the heart glyph, I think. I'm fairly sure, anyways. And then I take the ritual chalk, which apparently these things take damage, so I was worried about that. Um, and then I put it in a circle, um, like this. So that's two away. So that's three. Um, so one, two, three, there, there, and there. Ooh, that's not going to work. Um, but if I, can I pop this? I can apparently pop this. And then I just pop this one. I have an idea. I have an idea. We take our golden chalk and put it there and then we can draw our circle around the altar uh so if i have this right i put one here and then i put one there and then in theory wait yeah diagonal three diagonal um two three two three Diagonal, diagonal, two, three, another diagonal, another diagonal, two, three, and a diagonal. And there we go. We have our first circle, right? That's what it looks like in the book. That's what it looks like to me. And apparently we have our first circle. Um, so can we make anything? Um, I would need a circle of talisman and redstone to do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, oh, 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 oh. Any circles allowed to do the rite of binding, whatever the rite of binding is. Uh, binds the waystone to the location of the ritual. So I can make a waystone. Uh, how do I make a waystone? Let's do that. Uh, because I have a funny feeling this is like a... Uh, a hearthstone from world of warcraft um let's see where did i find the waystone i know i saw that in there somewhere waystone 
I make you with flint and a bone needle, and I just take bone and flint. Um, do I have flint lying around anywhere? That's actually a really good question. I don't think I have flint lying around anywhere. I might have some spare just screwing around. Um, like, specifically in the block of flints, but, okay, so I need two of those. And I take flint and a bone, and that makes bone needles. And then I take another flint and a bone, and I make a waystone, which is an interesting way to make a waystone. Uh, just two pieces of flint and a bone needle. Or is it that you take the bone needle and you scrape the mark uh, either into or out of the flint, and that makes it the waystone. That's an interesting concept. Okay, so what else do I need? I need ender dew, which I've actually been making meaning to make, because all I have to do is just take some ender pearls, throw it in the distillery with a bunch of clay jars, and it does it itself, and that's all I have to do. Um... I think I've tried to make this before and it failed, like it didn't work, um, like it wouldn't let me. And I think what might have been missing is the altar, like I didn't have the uh, magic. And then glowstone dust. Um, so I just need some glowstone, which I know I have lots of. Uh, glowstone. All right, now I just need the ender do, and I just need to apparently chuck all this stuff in the middle of the circle, I guess. Um, wait, what did the book say? Waystone, ender do, glowstone, dust, altar power of 500. I've got 1,700. I'm good there. Uh, binds the waystone to the location of the ritual. Um now, I did, I did want to play with the waystone because, like I said, I think it's like the hearthstone from World of Warcraft. Um, I think I can use it to teleport myself. And that would be kind of cool, though I don't think it would be... It's, like, too big of a problem for me right now because I can kind of fly. But it would be kind of cool if I could just take this stuff. Do you get sucked in? No? Do I have to throw you on the heart? They're moving. They're doing something. So what if I do this? Nothing! Absolutely nothing happens. Um, draw the circles. Uh, drop the foci item into the circle. Activate the heart glyph. Okay. It's doing something. Hey, it did something. I have a bound waystone. So what if I go over here to the house? Absolutely nothing. I have no idea how to use this thing. <laughs> I made the thing. I have no idea what it does. Um, but I'm not even there yet in the uh, getting started guide. Like the next thing it says to make is a kettle. Um, and I make a kettle with a lot of different stuff. What was that noise? Did that come from in the game? I heard something, but I don't know what it was. Hmm. All right, anyways. Um, now nah, let's leave you run. I'll just get a whole bunch of this ender dew and a little bit extra whiff of magic. Uh, what did I need? I needed... I wanted to make a kettle because that's next on the list. I have no idea why I'm making the kettle, but it's on the getting started list, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, iron. Oh, I have seven iron. I have exactly the amount of iron I need because I need to make the cauldron. Then I need three string. Uh, that looks like two sticks. I think that's two sticks. I hope that's two sticks because that's what I'm using. And one of those focus crystal thingamabobs. The blue things that I made. Um, these guys, the attune stones. All right. And I put the attune stone in the center, the cauldron there, the three string, and two sticks. And I get a kettle. 
And do I have to put this at any specific place? Um, the kettle must be set up in the correct way before it may be used. Firstly, a fire must be set under the kettle, um, as is traditional. I'm going to find some netherrack. I should have netherrack lying around here somewhere. I do. <laughs> a bit of it. Just a bit of it. And I will do the traditional... Uh, let's make you... I don't have a good place to make you, do I? Yeah, I don't really have a good place to make this kettle. That's actually kind of sucky. Um, I didn't exactly make a big place to build things on. And I don't want to put it too close to wood, because it'll catch the wood on fire. And I have no idea if it'll catch the chests on fire. Um, well, let's just make you there. Boop. Uh, let's see. Nether rack. Boop. Flint and steel. I don't have flint and steel. Are you kidding? Alrighty. I thought I had flint and steel in my bag. I guess I don't. Oh, but that's where the flint was. Flint... And iron, because apparently flint and steel isn't what we need. Even though it says specifically flint and steel. And steel is right there. <sighs> I don't actually remember where I got that steel. I know you can make it, and I know it's actually fairly easy to make, but I don't remember how. Alrighty. Put a block of dirt down real quick, and I'll put the kettle over the fire. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, that's cool looking. I wonder if I can, like, put, like, a fence post there or something and have them connect, because that would be kind of cool. All right, so the kettle is set up in the correct way. Um, the next, the kettle must be filled using a water-filled bucket. Uh, I appear to not have specifically water in a bucket, but I have plenty of buckets, and there's plenty of water lying around. Wee. Boop. Oh, it makes noise. Does it bubble? No? Yes? Maybe? It made noise, at least. Um, next kettle must be... Uh, thirdly, the ingredients for the brew or infusion must be thrown into the kettle. The liquid will change color according to the recipe being used. Finally, a glass bottle must be used on the kettle to bottle the resulting brew. It is important to keep the fire going constantly the while the re recipe is being prepared. Otherwise, it will be ruined. All righty. Uh, some recipes will require magical energy from a nearby altar. Well, we have that. Um, and apparently, we can make automa automating the we can automate the kettle. That's kind of cool. But it's not telling us what we use the kettle for. So apparently right now, in the getting started guide, we're not using the kettle for anything. Uh, let's see. I was about to say, if this doesn't work, I'll use micro blocks, but I don't think micro blocks would work either. Nope, that's not gonna work. Boop. Psst. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not right. But eh, it's close enough for government work. Um... All right, so what is next? Read the book, Witchcraft, Brews, and Effusions. Uh, this is getting kind of a pain in the ass, actually. Oh, and we are at like the 35-minute mark, at least for me. Um, let's just do this one last thing uh, at Witchery, and we'll, ma we'll make this Brews and Infusions book. Collecting fumes, distilling... There it is, brews and effusions. I need another belladonna flower. Odor of purity. Uh, hawthorn saplings. I cook hawthorn saplings. Well, I should have hawthorn saplings. I'm fairly sure I do anyways. Um, I'm glad I made all of this infinite stuff. <laughs> because doing this without all the infinite stuff would be a giant pain in the ass. Uh, it's pine. Origin. No... No, no, yes, Hawthorne saplings. We'll just run back over to where everything's on fire. 
apparently. What caught on fire? It was like right there. <laughs> All right, anyway, so let's throw you back in there and we'll get some more clay jars because apparently we're going to use a lot of these things, especially how I make stuff. There we go, now we got a full stack. And once again, we're sitting around waiting for things to do their thing. But I only need one. And hopefully it's not going to take long for me to get one. Because I'm, yeah, I only need one. Because I'm just making one book. Uh, but while it's doing that, I can grab the other stuff I need. Like another book. The feather. Uh, the ink sack. Um, the book. Ooh, ink sacks are over here. Well, technically, they're they're not over here. They're the just the black stained trees, but you know, I cheat. Of course, that's the name of the game. <laughs> uh, feather and uh, let's see, the belladonna flowers are over there. So I just need to use use this unifier again. No, not there. There away there we go make our book real quick and go get the last ingredient before hopefully the uh, drop of purity or whatever it's called uh, is done Boop. no more seeds eh, well I have plenty of seeds got to keep them because God only knows when they'll be useful they might actually be extremely useful uh, do I have... Yes, I do! Odor of Purity. Odor of Purity. That is a very strange name. It, it's... Odor kind of sounds bad, doesn't it? I mean, it's odor. It, it, it's a bad connotation. Whereas, I don't know, scent or smell or, you know, whiff <laughs> would sound better. Uh, and yeah, now we have our uh, brewing book. Even though I have to say I really like the uh, Circle Jerk book, this one, because it actually stays on the page that I left it. So, like, if I'm looking at, um, like, this rite of binding here, and then I come back to it, it's still this rite of binding here. Uh, bind a tamed owl, toad, or cat as a familiar. I want an owl! I am totally, totally getting an owl the next episode. Somehow. I don't know how, but I'm totally getting an owl the next episode. So, I will see you then. And no, I'm not calling it Hedwig. But I will see you in the next episode. And I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.